Okay guys, so today's video is going to be about transforming this beautiful pine island into a beautiful sandy jungle island. Uh, mainly because OBS screwed up when I was doing the jungle video originally and I kind of just want to, you know, fix that up. I made a promise that I would get it done and yesterday was hell on earth for me. So... All the trees and everything are all placed the way that they're supposed to be, but I just have to figure out which trees are which to switch over to uh, certain trees for the jungle. But we take a quick walk through, as you can see, it's it's the lighting is just jungle ready, uh, so kind of like a stranded island of sorts, and everything else is ready too. So, as you notice, the winter island is gone. I've had some trouble with that currently still trying to fix those issues and I'm not sure what's causing them so to get straight to the point we're gonna jump and never ever ever land so let's do this first off this is the place where we we work from right here and I am gonna have to slow this down to at least six and so these outer trees right here these ones are actually going to be um, pine trees or palm trees or Palm trees. Yeah, those. So, I need to get rid of the details and actually uh, put it somewhere else. Because we don't need it right now. So, I have to figure out which tree this is. And. I'm going to have to do that by unselecting all the current trees that we have. So turn those off. So to do that. So is it that one? I know it's a bit bigger. It's because I did change the sizes of everything. Hmm. Well, let's see. I mean, honestly, I don't think so. Pine B? It's Pine B. Definitely Pine B. So, that's E. That's Pine B. So, if we go and change that, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to go into Tropical Forest Trees. Uh, we are going to add a filter here real quick, and the filter is going to allow us to choose static mesh. And uh, we're going to be choosing from this tree selection. Okay. We're going to right click just to preload everything so we don't have any slowdowns. Um, I'm going to replacing Pine B with one of the palm trees that we have here. Okay. So here we go. So, so it's not Pine B, that's for sure. All right, then it's the next one over. Yep, there, okay, there we go. So it was actually uh, Pine C. That's good. Okay, so those are going to be like that. Now we have to figure out what this inner tree is right here. And by my guess, it's this guy. Because that has to become a mangrove. Yes, nailed it. See that? All right. So we're doing good so far. Now, this guy is easy to find because this is Mr. Tall and Lanky, uh, which is right there. And it has to be replaced with uh, a kapok a kapok a kapu I can't fucking say it all right so this is already looking good in here we don't have many trees to replace in total so uh, we're gonna have to choose another mangrove I'm gonna choose mangrove four for this guy imagine that I can actually just find what trees are there and now we're gonna replace this one with trunk four 
this guy is going to become Kapok 2. I don't know how to say these tree names. You'll forgive me though, right? And we're going to choose this Latin palm right here. And this last tree. Now, I am going to be choosing this to be a root. Uh, this one's going to be... So we do have to replace these with ones that are uh, that, see? Close by, right? And another trunk. And another root. Um... Probably going to be weird to have those in there, but we have to try. See, we're already getting our uh, our little beach back. It's nice. And this this doesn't even exist anymore. It's just out there floating right now. We're going to keep our rocks because our rocks do fit in with the jungle lands. And that's all I did, really. I procedurally generated the forest. Uh, I'm actually going to save all of this. So. Like that, so we can save. Foliage type. Jungle. And we're going to be saving this so we can use it again in the future. And we're going to put this in the procedural ecosystem, meshes, and ecosystem. Save. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to save it anyway. Same place. Different name. There we go. So what that essentially did, uh, if you'll permit me to show you, is created the foliage type. We open this up, and inside we have all the foliage types, which actually should be in here, but they're not. Now what I want to do, as you can see, they're all in here. We could just drag this out and generate this if we need to over the island. Hopefully that's not permanent. Is it in this one too? No, good. I've never ever looked to see what this one was. So this one's just a bunch of rocks. Okay, so what comes next to making this island what it is? Well, we just have to lay down the sand. And uh, to do that, we do this in paint right here. We got to replace the global ground with uh, sand. So we're going to click the island. And now I need detail. We're going to click the summer instance. We're going to go down to global ground, which is right here. We're going to replace these with sand. Yeah, I think I'm just going to search sand on the other content browser that's on my other monitor right quick. And we're going to select texture. And I'm going to find uh, the best possible match. Why not? Let's go with sandstones. No, wait. We tried that one before, didn't we? Well, we could always try sand one. It's a little alpha-ish at the moment. Let's go with sand one. Just for now. We're going to try sand one, okay? So... That goes in there. And that goes in there. Now, there are other sands here that we could try. 
I say if all else fails, we get this nice coarse sand going on. Okay, so we're going to keep that. Anyway, we're going to exit that out. There we go. Our sand is back. And I got to admit, this one looks a little bit better, but the only problem is it's a super low resolution. Ooh, look at that. And I closed that on my detail panel, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I need to change that. Even though it looks great in the lighting, it does look really great. We're just going to replace it with Sandy. And, uh... Let's try this one. Whoa! What in the universe? Did we just go ultra low resolution or something? Let's try this one. Finding the proper sand is just... There it is. There it is. Look at that. See, now I'm happy. And of course, we're going to shove details in there. Nice. Uh, there's a problem though. Look at that. All right, cleanup time. As you all know, when uh, dealing with stuff like this, there's always going to be cleanup time. Always. And can I just click these one by one? Just delete that and that. There we go. We're good. So let's take a little walk on the beach. Because this is our finished product. You have the lighting video. You have the initial design of the video. And now we have much better sand. It's not bad at all. Here's our beach. And uh, because I don't want to overstress my computer right now because I am recording. We're going to turn that down to far. Because we don't need it ridiculously high. <clears throat> As you can see, if we go off in here, it gets dense. What is this doing? Why am I able to walk on those ferns? God darn it. And of course, if you have any problems with ferns, all you have to do is no collision. And, uh... And then hit play from here because that was ridiculous. Alright. Anyway, here's the video as promised. The part that was missed. Uh, as you can see, the lighting is just... Uh, it, I've changed it a bit. And I don't mind it being changed at all either. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll give you a nice little view to send you off uh, from over here because this is the spot. Have a great day, guys.